Welcome back to At Home. We're going to help you uh, achieve a joyful and successful life with our life coach, Dr. Lise Janelle. Now, when, when we talk about, and we talked about in the last segment, uh, confronting fears and stuff, you're not going to tell somebody, you know, who's unhappy with their job, well, quit your job and uh, look for something else. So it's almost like people get to the point where maybe maybe in, in midlife they get a little bit like you were suggesting, Matt, where they, they're afraid of change and they... And right, because we get older, very settled right. and, and we're afraid to, to try maybe something different. as they get right? older, they're like, let me break free. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's both. Yeah. And... and mm -hmm. That's what I talk about. The only thing between us and our dream is fear. So what's good to do is to make a bridge, okay? Because you have more experience, more quote, quote, bad things have happened. So people get scared because of that, but also because people have more experience to get to know what's more important in life. Mm -hmm. So if you can admit to yourself, first of all, what it is you'd love to do, and then create a bridge. It doesn't have to happen like this. It can take two years, three years, five years. You don't have to strangle yourself with fear so you can't sleep at night, mm -hmm. but admit to yourself what you want, and then just create a nice plan to get you there. You talked about bridging, right? That's the important thing. Yes. It's, for example, if I ask you to write a book, you might go, book, I can't do a book. So, okay, how about a chapter a month? Hmm. So I'll say, how about a page every two days? Page every two days, you probably, oh, I can do that. Attainable so goals, right? Exactly. Short-term goals. Yes. Attainable goals. Something is chunking it down to small pieces. Now, you talked earlier about, uh, at the start of the show, about uh, the two things, uh, conscious and subconscious. Give us some examples of some subconscious issues and how you go about treating them. When I work with my clients, because I've been doing this for many, many years, I've seen th three main patterns. I have a relationship with our mothers who often engram in us un unconscious fears with relationships. I have a relationship with our father with our career. And I have a relationship with our siblings, how big we can be oh, really? in the world. Oh wow. Because I can I've done the test with hundreds and hundreds of people. If I ask people to make a statement to say that I want to be successful, most people are not congruent with the statement, I want to be successful. Because in the back of their mind, they have associated success with having less love. People around them feel bad, um, they feel less than. For example, when I was a little kid, I did this, I do a technique called NET, Neuro Emotional Technique. It's a very quick way of finding the moment in your life where the Pavlovian got stored. So I was making the statement, I want to be successful, and lo and behold, I'm not congruent with that. That's not possible, I'm all about success. And then I went back, we found the moment, I was five years old, I went to my, sis, to my mother, I had colored in a coloring book, and I said, look, Mom, I, I colored in my coloring book. She said, well done, Lise, you colored between the lines, well done. My little sister was younger than me, couldn't do that, she ran away crying. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, it's that, amazing how moments in our lives exactly. going way back yes, can and have they will some, sabotage. Some an impact down the road. Wow. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, your, your mom thinking she's saying something very exactly. positive. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And if you look in your life, you will see the people who are listening right now. They will have associated many times in life where they were shining their bright moment just to feel that their siblings did not like I, I that. Can think about, I can think about examples right now. I'm sure with you. Yeah, well, everybody too. can. But, yeah. but and, and I would imagine that in your sessions, you search for yes, these I search for those and, blocks. Right. It's very important for athletes, for uh, entrepreneurs, people who are willing to live life to the fullest. Because often, the back of their mind, even if they feel successful, in the back of their mind, they could maybe go a bit further, but they will hold themselves back so that they won't hurt other people's feelings. So, by identifying those moments, does that? instantly bring about a change or, or do you have to deal with those moments well, in some way? It's actually, once you identify these moments that have different techniques, it's what they're, these reflexes, they're stuck in your physiology. So there are techniques, quite easy ones, where you can just dissolve it. But also, I take it a step further and I ask, what's the benefit to your sibling if you are successful? 
So we take it to conscious, from the unconscious to the conscious. So what's the advantage to your sibling when you're successful? Yeah, there's an advantage, not a disadvantage. Exactly, because yeah. if you hold yourself back for your siblings, you're telling your sibling, you know what, I don't believe in you. If I do this, you're so weak, I'm going to crush you. That's the message <laughs> you give your sibling. And the struggles that we were sand growing up, would it be having a big brother, having a divorce in the family, somebody dying, or whatever challenge came in our life, if we choose to, we can look at it as something that made us stronger and use it to rise and make ourselves better. The only problem with these challenges in the back of our mind, if I'm a good girl, if I'm a good boy, good things happen to me. I get rewards, Santa Claus type of story. And if I'm a bad boy, a bad girl, bad things happen to me. So we have the illusion in the back of our mind that because these things happen, we're not good and it decreases our self-worth. Exactly. Right? So part of growing and fulfilling your life is seeing the perfection in the events of your life so you can be free from this illusion.